That sound has been waking up trainees of this school for over 16 years. But this is no ordinary school. This is a Communist Party of China school that trains officials. And it's located in a city revered by party members as the heartland of the Chinese Revolution. Jingganshan in Jiangxi, East China. In October 1927, Mao Zedong led a fledgling group of Chinese revolutionaries deep into the mountains around Jingganshan, where they established the Communist Party of China's first rural revolutionary base. This starting point saw the CPC surround cities from the countryside, seize control of the nation and ultimately transform the once impoverished country into the world's second largest economy. Yet, while it's the world's largest political party with over 91 million members, what do you know about the CPC, which is due to have its centenary this year, and how it actually educates its officials, or how it encourages them to serve the people? I'm Helen Bentley. This is Shimo Special. China Executive Leadership Academy Jinganshan offers training to party officials employed by the government, state-owned companies and the military, from entry-level recruits right up to senior officials. It's one of three executive leadership schools in the country, among thousands of party schools nationwide. For the past 16 years, more than 100,000 people have attended courses here. This week, trainees are here for a seven-day programme on ideals and beliefs. But... Who are they and what do they gain from attending? This 他们在缺衣少食、敌人围追堵截等极致艰苦的条件下依然坚持战斗是因为他们有坚定的信念会取得最后的胜利 At 33, Liu was born into and lived through one of the most affluent and peaceful periods in China's history. As a member of the post-80s generation, his youth would have been a far cry even from that of his parents let alone the lives and struggles of the early revolutionaries. With more than a third of CPC members under 40 years old, it seems that this disconnect is one driving force behind the current push to educate younger party members. This week's session is just one of thousands of programmes offered by the Academy. I spoke to Vice President Ke Hua to find out what the students study and why. 第一个主要是对我们的干部进行理论教育这个是我们培训的最重要的一块的内容学习我们党的比方说密切联系群众的优良作风永远保持我们党的这个本色然后永保我们党的这个为人民为中心的这样一个宗旨 Being book smart is one thing, but what's it like out there in the field? One of the attendees of this week's training is Jiang Yingfu, whose day job includes mentoring his colleagues in an official party capacity. Uh,我们总体五局啊,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目,很难的工程项目
The idea is that if members study Communist Party theory and history, then they're better equipped to lead and manage in the field. This principle has taken on an even greater significance in the run-up to the party's centenary as the party strives to stay true to its roots but continue to grow. Ke Hua told me more. The CPC Party School system is unique, both in its approach and aspirations. The focus on history is a reminder of where the party came from and the struggles along the way while the emphasis on theory offers an academic platform to discuss the ideals and convictions that underpin the party's goals. It is as much about educating officials about their responsibilities as it is about why they do it and where they're going. About 90 years ago, the bugle was sounded in Jinganshan for revolt. Today, it calls for unity. It is hoped that when the trainees finish their programmes, that they will not only be better public servants, but they will have the revolutionary fire reignited within them, and that they will take that belief and for it to resonate wherever they go.